Salisbury police are investigating a break-in where prescription drugs were taken from trucks at the UPS facility on Old Concord Road in February. And trucks were targeted, certain boxes were targeted. They, they knew what they were looking for. They were looking for certain boxes shipped from certain locations. It's a tale that's all too familiar for law enforcement. Carrying a shotgun, walking into a you know, pharmacy and taking the pill, it just shows how desperate these people are for these things. In February, police charged Bobby Ray Cabe Jr. with robbery with a dangerous weapon in multiple cities. Police say he took prescription drugs. Tech opened the safe and he said, oh, I don't want that stuff. I'm looking for the Oxycontins. I'm looking for the Opanas. I'm looking for this. This is what I want. To find offenders, undercover investigators buy pills on the streets of Salisbury, then arrest them. It's harder to profile a prescription drug offender. Bought myself from, from a grandmother who was selling her daughter's pills. So it's, it, there's no age range anywhere from young to old. As law enforcement works to get drugs off the streets, many offenders end up in and out of prison. When they find more than four grams of an opium derivative, which is about this much, the law requires mandatory prison time. A revolving door that has continued with some offenders for decades. And a major challenge to stopping it goes back to the money. You pay that three, four dollars for it, and then you turn around and sell that whole bottle's worth a thousand bucks. So that's the turnaround. That's why I don't think you'll ever, you'll ever squash it. In Rowan County, Carly Stevenson, Time Warner Cable News.